Hello booktube, I am filming another book related type video today and I am so excited so I am starting the new month off with like some new resolutions so yes I'm going to start filming more book related type videos I'm going to try and get into reading more but I'll get more about that also I got these glasses they're my new reading glasses, so my viewfinders right here, and like look, they're so cute, I'm obsessed with them, but I'm about to go take pictures with um, some of my friends, hence why I'm kind of dressed up. I got these overalls, kind of cute, kind of digging it, but while I'm kind of put together nicely, I thought I would film a video for you guys. So this is going to be a wrap up of the month of January. I don't know if I'm going to do this every month, but if I do a good reading month and a lot of reading and book related type stuff. I'll do like a wrap up. So this is going to be my wrap up and books I got. So this is kind of like a January book wrap up slash January book haul. So yes, let's just kind of get into it. So my resolution this year was to do more things that I love. One of the things being reading and last year 2018 I got into a lot of book slumps. And I think the main reason was I read the Throne of Glass series. That's pretty much all I read last year. Yeah, I think I read like maybe two other books, two or three. But I think like I kind of burnt myself out because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of them, not counting Kingdom of Ash because I haven't read that one yet. But yeah, I went through seven of them. They're pretty good sized books. And I just got so invested that I think I just kind of got burnt out that I don't know I just I got in a really bad reading slump so I'm gonna try and not do that like burn my way through a series like read the book when I am ready not I had the mindset like oh I read the book I have to read the next one I have to read the next one I have to catch up when in reality I really didn't so that is gonna be like my new goal is read what I want to read when I want to read it so yes so I'm gonna start off with what I read this month the first book was You by Carolyn Kepnes so about this I was watching a booktube and a girl was talking about how much she loved this book and she was telling me what it was about and I was like I love this kind of stuff like I don't like scary stuff but I like creepy stuff that makes you think I am into that I love stuff that makes you think and so I was like in my group chat with my friends, I was like, guys, I want to go to Barnes and Noble, I want to get this book. And one of the other girls was like, dude, I watched a TV show, I want to go get it too. And I was like, oh, there's a TV show? Oh, didn't know that. So then when we got there, there was like the original cover and then there was this. And on it, it says now a lifetime series. Focus on me. I meant not me, the book. But it says now a lifetime series. And I'm like, dude, this is Dan from Gossip Girl. Like... Okay, maybe when I finish the book, I'll go watch the TV show. Like, I'll have to, like, you know, record it or something. So, after a day into reading this, everybody on Instagram was talking about this. I was like, wait, is this the same thing? And then I realized, oh, it's on Netflix now, like, the day after I started reading it. So, everybody was talking about it. I was like, stop. Do not spoil me. I'm trying to read the book. I didn't know it was going to be on Netflix and this big of a deal. Like, I knew there was a TV show, but, like, I didn't know it was going to be on Netflix. So, yes, I kind of read through this really, really fast. One, because it's that good. And two, because I didn't want to get spoiled by anybody. Because, like, even the girls at work, they're like, have you finished it yet? Can we talk about it? And I was like, no, I haven't. So, no, no, I'm sorry. Hold on a little bit longer. So, yes, I give this four out of five stars. If you don't know what it's about, it's with this guy... I don't know if I want to call him a psychopath, I don't know if that's the right term, I don't want to offend anybody, but he's kind of mentally ill, um, he's obsessed with this girl, and I love how it's titled you, because he always referred to her as you, like, you did this, you made me feel this way, you were this, you were that, and it was just creepy, and I, I don't know, it was different, I liked it, um, I'm not gonna go any more into this, because you could watch the show trailer and it'll tell you exactly what it's about. The next book after this I read was I was kind of thinking oh I need something a little smaller because you kind of have tripped my brain a little bit. I need something that I can kind of just casually read and I picked up Looking for Alaska. So another um, new year resolution for me is to pick up books that I've had on my shelf for a really long time. I'm really bad about that or like books that I received as gifts and I just don't prioritize them so instead of like buying all these new books that I just see that are coming out and like digging me like you know I'm just I feel like I'm this hole that I keep 
throwing dirt on top of me. So instead of buying all these new books, read a lot of books that I've already had. So I said, okay, looking for Alaska. It's small. I've heard nothing but good things about it. So we're gonna pick it up. And what it's about, it's this guy that goes to this private school. Is it private? Yeah, this private school. And he has to make new friends and this girl named Alaska. And she's so mysterious and different. And I don't wanna give too much away, but let me tell you the plot twist. Not necessarily the plot twist, but the big event that happens. I literally, I was like, what? Like, I did not know this was gonna be that type of book. And I loved it. I, I loved it for it. Like. I love John Green. I think I've read the majority of his books and this one I was just like when it happened I, I just had to like put the book down and like kind of think about what had just happened. I give this four out of five stars as well just because I'm kind of mad that this has been on my shelf for that long and I haven't picked it up. I'm like really? You're Delaney. You need to start picking up more books. So with that being said, my last book that I read this month was the Illuminae Files. Can we just talk about how gorgeous this cover is? And I've never really looked at it, but like even the naked cover. So with this book, I got this like when it came out, like I think in 2015. I've had this for quite a while on my shelf, but I was gifted this from an ex, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, an ex gave me this and I knew that this was something I was really interested in so I always kept it, but every time I looked at it I was like, I don't wanna read it, I don't wanna read it. But then I was watching booktube, I do that a lot if you haven't noticed, and they, a girl was talking about how cool the audiobook was and I was like, how cool can an audiobook really be? So I decided that I was going to listen to the audiobook and then I started listening to it and I was like, oh, this makes no sense. So then I had to like actually look at it and I was like, oh, it's set up as a dossier. And I'm like, okay, this is really cool. So like, it's all like, there's like messages and there's pictures and like, it's just, there's, I, I don't know how to explain it. There's just really cool stuff and so sometimes when I was listening to the audiobook I was like wait what's happening so I pretty much read this and the audiobook at the exact same time like I followed along which I know that might be defeating the purpose of an audiobook is just to listen to it but I read and listened to this at the exact same time and I think it was so cool if you want to get into audiobooks I really recommend Illuminae um I also recommend picking up the hard the physical copy because it's just so different. I've never seen a book set up this way before. It was just so good and I loved it so much. Um, I give this three out of five stars just because this isn't my favorite type of genre. It's about space and like crap going on in space and like people that can live on different planets. Like it was good, but it's not my space stuff is not my biggest thing. So I gave it 3 out of 5 stars just because it's not my favorite and that's just my opinion. But if you like space stuff, highly recommend Illuminate. The Illuminate Files. So going into the second part of this video, these are the books I bought this month. So January is the time of year for us book lovers when we get Barnes & Noble gift cards and money that we can spend on books. And there are so many books that are out right now that people are hyping up and I'm like, okay, I just need to go ahead and get these and just read through them because I'm not in a reading slump right now. I'm doing pretty good as well as I'm doing this. I'm not doing it, but I'm joining this book club, which is Chloe. And I think it's read by Chloe, books by Chloe. I'll insert it right here what her uh, YouTube name is, but she has started this book club. It's called Book with Friends and they have an Instagram and a Twitter. You should definitely go follow them. So I'm just going to start off with that book. So the book of February that we're reading is Six of Crows. I've wanted to read this because everybody has hyped it up so much, but then I saw that she was doing this and I really love this girl. She is so sweet. I talk about her like I know her. I don't know her. She's just a YouTuber that talks about books, a booktuber. And she started a book club and the book of February is Six of Crows. So I thought what better way to read this book and have an excuse to buy it than this. So I bought it. I'm not sure what it's about. I want to go into it not knowing a lot about it, but I just know that I've heard nothing but good things about this. I wanted the hardcover because it has like sprayed red edges, but it was kind of ripped in the back and I was like, I'll just save my money. The next book I wanted to get was Strange the Dreamer. I've wanted this for a very long time. 
And now that I had a coupon, uh, not a coupon, a gift card, I thought, what better way to spend my money than get this that's been on my TBR, my wish list for so long. And this is about a guy that is uh, obsessed with this other, uh, what is it, is it like world? This lost city of weep, and he just, he's a librarian, I've heard nothing but good. And the girl that is doing this, Chloe, that is doing the book two for February, Books with Friends, this was her favorite book of 2018, and if I'm not wrong, I think this is her new favorite book of all time, and me and her share a lot of taste in books that she likes, I also like. So I said, well, if this is her new favorite book, I'm pretty sure I'll probably be like, probably like it so I went ahead and picked it up and it's by Lainey Taylor and I'm so excited the next book is just one that has been really really hyped up I've seen one bad review a uh, booktuber I've seen one youtuber not like it the rest have all really really enjoyed it they just say it's kind of slow in the beginning but that's understandable and that's the cruel print by Holly Black and is this is just one that I thought would be really casual like just a good read I don't know too much about it. Um, it's about this girl that her parents are murdered and her two sisters were stolen away to live in the treacherous high court of Farah. Or F I just said Farah. I love Akatar. I'm so sorry. A fairy? Fairy? Fairy. 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 So it's kind of has like Akatar feels like the fae, the court. And if it's anything like that, I will probably like it. And then to finish up this video, I got Annihilation. This is one that I saw the trailer a long time ago and I thought, OMG, that movie looks so cool. I want to pick up the book. And I went, this has been on my list, but I didn't go in wanting it. And then I walked past it and I was like, oh, that is so tiny. Like, yeah, I'll get it because I'm also going to Israel and I need some smaller books. I don't know if I'll take this because this kind of does seem intense and I'll be in Israel being all Jesus freak. So I don't know if I want to spend my free time reading something that's really intense. So I might take a different book, but it was tiny and I was like, oh. And since I saw it, I was like, well, might as well get it. But yes, this is the last book I got. Okay, so I this is way later in the day. It's like uh, 10.30 now at night, and I just wanted to film this because I got a book today. I know, I just love buying books. But I went to Target with some of my girlfriends, and um, five feet apart. Can we just talk about how pretty this cover is? So, yes, um, it was on sale. It had 20% off. I think a lot of them were 20% off. I don't know if that was just all of them. But anywho... Um, I've seen the movie trailer. I'm absolutely obsessed with the idea of this and I knew it was based off of book. I just didn't know um, I hadn't seen it, but yes, I was like, oh, I want to read this before the movie comes out So I picked it up. I thought it would be a cute little contemporary read and then the last book um, I haven't I didn't buy it, but I'm not really it's not a book I finished but I'm just finishing off the month with A Court of Mist and Fury. This is my favorite book of all time. And I've noticed lately I've been looking at memes and stuff. And um, I don't remember a lot. So I'm going through and I'm going to start annotating and like not writing. But like I have sticky notes and stuff. But um, just rereading my favorite book of all time. So I'll probably read this till February starts. And as soon as February starts I'll start um, Six of Crows, but till then I'll just be reading this. I definitely probably will not finish this, but just the book that when February starts, I'm okay with just putting down. I'm going to be finishing the month off with this. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I love talking about books. It's one of my favorite things. So if you also like listening to me talk about books, please thumbs up this video. Um, I know I'm new to this whole booktube thing and I don't know. I just really enjoy just being able to talk about books. So, but thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. And if you have some book recommendations or what you read in the month of January, please comment down below. I like to see what you guys are reading or what other people like. I'm really open-minded. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys real soon.